hello, hello, long time no see. It is your boy in spiritual intellectual 777 here once again, the host that does the most. And today's video is basically an extended version of Mama's Boy Syndrome, as you see in the title. And if you have no idea what the hell Mama's Boy Syndrome even is, it's basically when a grown ass man basically wants to be showered with love and attention and validation from his current partner and he basically expects her to be like his mama with almost the exact same qualities basically wanting the same attention from her as his mama gave him as a child right <clears throat> and so before you continue on with this video just make sure to look, take a look at this post that I've just screenshotted somewhere here on the screen or it'll show up somewhere on the screen and the link to that post will be in the description below for you guys to go read. So like I said, go ahead and go read that post before you watch this video because I'm just going to be expanding upon the foundation, so to speak, of this particular topic. So <clears throat> it's just like us men out here well many of us have been raised in single mother households right and then we just expect all these women out here to shower us with love and attention when in actuality it's not her job to do any of that shit our job is to love and care for ourselves first you know we have to fill our own cup before we get into a relationship and for <clears throat> all this time, you know, I have been, I haven't been filling my own cup and I've just been bouncing around from woman to woman to woman that basically just resembled my mom. And in actuality, you know, I thought my, I thought not actuality, I thought that, you know, the, the reason my mom was showing me for attention was because she genuinely thought I was special, but it turns out this whole time it was because, you know, she didn't get enough attention and love from men, so she just basically showered me with that with that attention. And then in turn, you know, I got addicted to that and wanted her approval and her love, right? And this inevitably bled over into my romantic relationships. And then I was it just led to me just having lady troubles time in and time again. And I would just be sitting there dumbfounded, like, what the fuck? Like, why are they leaving? Why? Like, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Because I know I'm a good man. I already know that. <clears throat> but what is causing them to just turn the other cheek and not even want to bother with me anymore? And it turns out, you know, I happen to have, like I'm talking about now, mama's boy syndrome. Because I was raised in a single parent household and I was just taught a whole lot of bullshit by my mom. You know what I'm saying? And I carried those ideas with me into dating, you know? And I took on this concept of thinking that I need to date around until I found the one, when in actuality, I should have been working on myself and staying on path, regardless of, you know, the peer pressure of, you know, getting into a relationship immediately, and wanting a woman to just basically give me that mother's love that I never quite got when I was a little boy. And I expected them to make up for that. Which, you know, looking back in hindsight, which was really, really unfair, right? So, you know, if you are a lady watching this, you've probably dealt with this type one too many times. The man who constantly expects you to give him love, affection, and approval because he hasn't given it to himself, right? <clears throat> you know, and it's just and it's just like, you know, a lot of women are sitting here wondering like, why do I keep attracting these type of dudes? Well, if you're a woman, you know, I'm and you if you're just a woman period, you're going to attract these type of guys, but this is especially especially for spiritually evolved women who have been working on themselves continuously they're secure in who they are and they basically don't need a man that's the exact type of women that mama's boys are attracted to is the woman who is independent and doesn't need a man 
right? Because in actuality, you know, women don't really need us nowadays. They they really don't. I'm <laughs> I know I know this is going to offend a lot of dudes watching. Oh, I'm getting tongue tied. This I know this is going to offend a lot of dudes watching this and this is going to lead to them just probably clicking off this video. But I'm I mean to trigger these men. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, if you if you're a man watching this, you get triggered. That ain't my fault. That ain't my problem. You gotta look at yourself as a man and figure out <clears throat> why is it that you're feeling this way? Because you have to heal your own shit first before you enter into a relationship, right? And um, I remember I was looking at this post by Steph Ganowski, and if you're watching this, Steph, shout out to you. You have a lot of great information, and I do recommend that a lot of dudes go listen to our podcast, you know, and she's basically a relationship coach for men and for men only, which is awesome because many of us men don't understand women. We we really don't. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. You know what I'm saying? But she even touched on some of the same things that I talked about in my Instagram post where she was talking about a man filling his own cup and learn how to love himself. And if that's still an awkward topic for you as a man, then <clears throat> you can obviously like hit her up and get a free call with her. And if you want to get, you know, extended, if you want to get extended version, you of course have to pay or better yet. You know what I'm saying? You can check out my life coach, Virginia Wheeler, who's um, who deals in spirituality and life coaching in general. You know what I'm saying? I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go to her over Steph Ganowski because, man, I'm telling you, like she she really knows how to coach people. I've done plenty of coaching sessions with her and I've had to and I've identified a whole lot of shit and I put in a lot of work to overcome that. You know, she's no bullshit, no nonsense coach. So if you expect her to coddle you, she's not going to do it. She's not going to comfort you like your mama. <laughs> it's, it's not happening. But anyways, like I was saying, you know, <clears throat> damn, I keep like doing that a lot. But anyways, you know, you really do have to look at your own self and heal those core issues inside of you. From childhood, right? Because you picked up a lot of those habits from childhood. And just like, you know, and here's the good news. Any learned behavior can be unlearned. But it's going to take time and dedication on your part to deprogram yourself from those programs that are no longer serving you. You got to update your operating system. Just like a lot of iPhone users update their iOS op their iOS operating system and a lot of Android update their operating system and a lot of people who use Samsung update their operating system or people who play PlayStation or Xbox and update those operating systems. We are so quick to update the operating systems on the technology that we use like smartphones and laptops and desktops and gaming systems but we seldomly update the operating system in here you know what i mean so i challenge you as a man to deprogram yourself from that mama's boy syndrome and one of the ways that i highly highly recommend is that you spend a whole entire day by yourself you know and this includes not only just staying off social media, but also not hanging out with anybody at all, at least for a fucking day. I mean, spending a day with yourself is not going to kill you. It's not. You, you got to learn how to be on your own. And part of that is learning how to just disconnect from the outside world and just tune into yourself. And a lot of us men don't want to do that because... You know, we constantly want attention. We're constantly attention and approval seeking, so to speak. Right. So just give that day to yourself to just reflect and to contemplate on why you are where you are today. And you could journal if you want to. But for me personally, I just like to talk to myself a lot. And yes, you know, I am one of them type of dudes that talks to himself on the daily because I need expert advice sometimes. 
You know what I'm saying? It helps keep me sane and it helps me to really just break down shit, right? And I, I, I did this last Sunday, right? To where I was just deeply contemplating on why I was where I was and what habits weren't serving me. And this was around the time where the full moon was in Scorpio. So I was just like, you know, breaking down everything into bite-sized chunks. And then I just released it into the universe by saying, you know, I let go of the need to constantly need attention from my partner. You know, something like that. That's what I said. And then I just released it. And I noticed that as I just kept releasing shit, I just felt so much better, like a big sigh of relief after you get over solving a puzzle. It's like, (sighs) finally, finally, I solved this fucking puzzle and I finally broke free out of this karmic bond. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know what a karmic bond is, it's basically... Um, a negative pattern that you are continuously stuck in like a dog chasing its own tail. And that's how most of us men have lived our lives, right? And chasing these women. When we chase women who we think resemble our mothers, when in actuality, they don't. They are just themselves. You know, we're basically like a dog chasing its own tail. Or like a butterfly with a broken wing that's trying to fly up, but it continues to fall down because that wing is broken, right? And so, you know, it's not the woman's fault that you are starving for love. It is of your own doing, right? And here's another metaphor that I want to use, and I hope that these... Simple metaphors, or at least I feel like it's simple. I hope it's simple enough for you to understand, right? So if you are a man who has mama's boy syndrome, you're seeking approval and all that jazz, right? Well, in your auric field, it's an energetic black hole. And if you're not familiar with black holes in space, they're basically collapsed stars, right? They're stars that exploded and if the gravitation and if the explosion is powerful enough, it'll turn into a black hole and black holes are basically this big giant gaping holes that go around space, right? Just sucking up every fucking thing. You know, it's so powerful that not even light can escape it. And if it happens to get near a planet, it's going to suck in that planet and nothing will ever escape it. Right. So you as a man are walking around as this energetic black hole looking to suck up any light, any light energy that you can get from a woman. Right. And then the next thing you know, the woman is feeling all drained and shit, wondering, like, why, why, why do I feel so drained and out of it? Like, what, what's going on? It's because your ass is draining all of her energy. You know, it gets exhausting after a woman has to, it's exhausting for a woman to have to constantly give you attention and love and validation. And she's going to start resenting you for doing that shit because you put her in a role that she didn't even want to be in in the first place. You, you basically put her in, you casted her as your mother in your own little overlay or illusion or fantasy, if you will. And then when she finds that out, She's going to dip because she's like, I'm not putting up with this shit, man. Like this, this, this man, this motherfucker crazy. If he think that I'm going to put up with this. Right. And just FYI, women do not like it when you compare them to your mama. They, They don't like that shit at all. It is a big ass turn off. And that's just going to decrease your attractiveness to her. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. That's extremely dysfunctional and unattractive to keep comparing women to your mother. It really is. You, you know I mean? <laughs> like you, that's probably the reason why you're having woman troubles right there is because you constantly looking for love and validation outside of yourself. Whereas if you're a man that's focused on his purpose and on his personal development, That'll inevitably make you more attractive. And that is ironically going to give you the comfort that you are looking for from a woman. But first, you have to comfort yourself. 
And I realized I did not even cover any more points on how to overcome mama's boy syndrome. I already covered the first one about, you know, spending the day with yourself. So <clears throat> another thing that you, you know, must do is, you know, get you a life coach. Like I said, get you a life coach. You know, I recommend that you work with Virginia Wheeler. You know what I'm saying? Because she she's an awesome life coach, you know? She's awesome, man. I'm I'm telling you, like, you're not going to regret it. You know? <laughs> She's awesome. And then I also recommend that you start, like, listing the qualities that you love about yourself. Like me, I love the fact that I'm creative. I love the fact that, you know, I just come up with ideas on a whim. I love the fact that, you know, I can perform on the spot. Because that's that's what I'm naturally good at is performing on the spot. I may not be the best planner, but if if it's if it requires improvisation, I got you. Not to say that I'm not gonna get better at planning, but you know, that's mainly where my talent is, is learning how to do stuff on the fly. And then another thing that I enjoy about myself is that, you know, I'm hyper. I'm hype as fuck, man. I, I'm telling you, like, I, I'm a very hyperactive person. I'm very, like, energetic. I love inter. I love talking to people. You know, I love the fact that, you know, I am a huge music junkie. I love listening to music. I love the fact that I am a nerd. I am a tech geek. I love technology. You know, and I geek out with anything having to do with computers, smartphones, game systems, cameras, definitely cameras. So I'm just being real with y'all. I love technology. I'm a motherfucking nerd. I ain't no gangster nigga. I ain't no thug nigga. I ain't from the hood. As a matter of fact, if I were to rap about that shit, I would just look like I would just look like the silliest dude ever. It'll pretty much be Steve Burkle rapping about busting guns on somebody. That's how bad it's gonna look. So I, I just stay in my lane, and I just like nerd out. I'm a huge nerd. All right. <laughs> and another thing that I love about myself is that I'm very outgoing. You know, I'm a, I'm an outgoing, friendly dude. You know, despite, you know, me just looking super duper serious on video, right? Or sounding serious on my podcast, which if you are an artist or creative that's looking for, you know, some motivation and some, you know, stories, not only from my life, but from other artists, you know, in any industry in general, the link to my podcast will be in the description below. So make sure to go check that out, baby. But anyways, you know, <clears throat> I, I just I just love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so despite, you know, me just having this look like, <laughs> despite me just having that look i am not a mean person i'm just letting you know right now i'm not a mean person you know i'm not <clears throat> god damn that lunch is starting to come, come back but anyways <laughs> despite me just having that serious look on my face like i'm the most friendly dude that you can talk to so if you see me in public don't be afraid to say hey you know what i'm saying I'm not that I'm not one of these people in the fucking spiritual communities that's just like, you know, all serious and stern all the time. Like, yeah, you you have to meditate. You have to tap into the higher powers. You know what I mean? You can't have no fun. Which is totally false because you didn't just come down here just to learn. You came down here to have fun and to enjoy life and to be your authentic self. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't be afraid to get silly. And that's that's another thing that you men need to do is stop taking life so fucking serious. Like, damn, bro. Have fun for five minutes. It ain't going to kill you. I mean, damn. it. Life life is way too short for that shit, man. You don't need a woman to make you, ha make you happy, dude. You know, you just need to realize that you ain't alone, that you got your spirit guides, and you got God, you got the universe, 
You got all you got your ancestors. All of them are willing to guide you and help you out. You just need to help yourself. Know what I mean? So they, you know, and that's what's gonna make you attractive. You know, another thing that I want to touch on is be your authentic self, guys. Because when you are operating from mama's boy syndrome, you're in essence wearing the mask of the obedient boy that you've been wearing for years, right? You trying to make your mama proud, and in turn, you transferring that over to your significant other, and you're trying to make her proud, and you're just working yourself to a to the bone to try to impress her, basically overcompensating for your insecurities, right? And I know it's not going to be easy, you know, and I'm well aware that not every woman is going to accept you for who you are, but who gives a fuck? If she can't accept you for who you are, then you don't need to be in that relationship in the first place. You don't. I mean, like, (sighs) It's just too exhausting to be chasing people anymore, especially women, man. You know, I'm I'm taken right now. I am in a happy relationship. I'm happy with who I'm with. So if you're wondering if I'm in a relationship, yes, I'm in a relationship. And I love my woman to death. And I just love her to pieces. She is so beautiful, so kind, so loving, so amazing. She has helped me overcome a lot of my own bullshit. And I've ever loved her. You know what I'm saying? I just love her. I just love her like a little child loves a stuffed bear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and that, and that's another thing is that you can't, you can't, you know, embrace your feminine side, dudes. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these so-called alpha males, they just crack me the fuck up. They be getting on social media, puffing their chest out. Saying, you know, I'm a real man. You know, I don't need these bitches. These bitches ain't got nothing on me, man. I don't need no goddamn woman. This one, man, bitches bow down to me. And I'm just like, stupid ass motherfucker. Being stupid. Like, why are you doing this, man? See, that's why y'all niggas are lonely out here. Because y'all up on social media... And YouTube just basically crying and complaining about how women don't want to do this or do that for you. Man, shut your whining ass up, man. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Stop programming these little boys to think that real masculinity is degrading a woman and calling her a bitch or a hoe. Like, no, that that's the reason why your ass is lonely. You know? You got to look at yourself, man. You got to stop blaming the women for your own emotional problems. Stop the madness, y'all. Like, and for for all the young for all the young boys out there, stop watching these so-called alpha males on YouTube cuz they ain't really alpha. They ain't really doing nothing. They just spewing out a whole bunch of bullshit that's not going to help you get a girl or help you love yourself more. You know what I'm saying? Just just leave them alone. That they're being toxic and dysfunctional. You know, don't let them drag you down with them. Don't be watching their videos. You know, embrace your feminine side because every man and woman has masculine and feminine energies within them. You know, you don't want to be too feminine and you don't want to be too masculine. You want to be somewhere in the middle to where you are whole and complete within yourself. You're completely balanced. And only when you're whole within you, when you recognize the wholeness within yourself and you're completely balanced within should you pursue a relationship with the with a woman right so that she's not constantly stressing out on how to keep you pleased and to keep you feeling validated and feeling like you're enough because that was your job in the first place <clears throat> you know what i mean us men have to do better not only you know we have to know better and we have to do better You know what I mean? So that we can be able to be the men that we were meant to be. And a big part of that is healing your own wounds and going after what your purpose is. Because when you live from a place uh, where you're living your life purpose and you're you're focusing on your personal development, you ain't worried about these chicks, man. You ain't out here constantly falling into the thirst trap. And DMing a whole bunch of girls just so they can give you attention and you sending them them little um, 
kissy face emojis, them hard eye emojis, and especially them eggplant and the goddamn peach emojis, man. I don't know what is up with men just doing all that shit. It's it's pure fucking stupidity, <clears throat> you know. And I just I just like to observe, right? You know, they be seeing these Instagram models, right? And then they be putting the tongue and all the other emojis that I just mentioned. And I noticed that, you know, most of the time, them females don't even, them females don't even fucking give those dudes the time of day. So, fellas, take notes. And I even know from doing that experiment that I did like two to three days ago where I made that post about, you know, men with mommy issues. Most of the people that liked it were women. And then one or two of them actually, you know, um, wrote some comments. So that's also saying something too. So if you actually happen to view that post, make sure to take notes and pay attention to detail, right? <clears throat> because women are sick and tired of us men constantly comparing us, constantly of us constantly comparing them to our mamas, and we expecting them to fulfill that mommy role, which is not their responsibility at all. So. I am going to go ahead and wrap the video up on that because I pretty much ain't got nothing else to say on this topic. I pretty much just rung out a big, uh, huge chunk of it in my Instagram post. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell right next to it so you get notified every Friday when I upload a video to this here YouTube channel. And make sure to smash the hell out of that like button and make sure to timestamp your favorite moment in this video. And make sure to share, 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 share this with anybody you think needs to hear this message. And also, if you gain a whole lot of value as well, make sure to donate to the channel by clicking the link in the description below. And peace in and out with the highest vibes. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Woo, yeah, buddy. Are you looking for someone to shoot your videos, photos, films, and make your demo reel blow the socks off your clients? You come to the right place. At 8 Mil Productions, I offer the following services. Shooting commercial videos, music videos, or videos in general not related to film. My rate for these services are $100 for 30 second videos, and a price goes up and varies from there for longer videos. For photography, I offer individual portraits and headshots for 40 bucks a photo and group portraits for 60 bucks a photo. For film shoots, my rate is $150 per shooting day. And last but not least, I edit demo reels for cinematographers, directors, and actors for 100 bucks. If you want to book me for the following services, email me at 8millproductions at gmail.com. I am looking forward to working with you.